local firefighters helping survivors of Hurricane Florence in the Carolinas are now back in Delaware. As Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves tells us, the first responders will remember the resilience after the storm. Firefighters from the Hokessen Fire Company are just some of the dozens in Delaware who have just returned from helping people in the hurricane ravaged Carolinas. Hokessen Company's Matt Costa, Cranston Heights, Nick Petticone, and Aetna Host Company's James Farley are just some of the firefighters who drove down to North Carolina last Saturday as the storm was barreling down. They were sent to the most rural areas of the state and had to navigate through heavily flooded roads to help people other crews couldn't get to. We did property checks, structure checks, houses that had trees down on them weren't going to fall over, welfare checks on, on people. It was very humbling. You see cars inside of roads abandoned. You see a lot of things just unnaturally settled, something you'd see out of a movie pretty much. Although most of the firefighters here had never experienced a hurricane before and were surprised by the damage one could leave behind, they were more surprised in North Carolina by the resilience the people showed there. Just speaking with the people interacting, you know, the, the, the presence of us just being there um, kind of uplifted them made them feel very hopeful. Delaware's firefighters spent roughly a week helping people in North Carolina. The Hokessen Fire Company commemorated the time there by putting this bumper sticker on one of their engines. I would say we left them in a little better state, uh, state than what they were in. Um, they still got a long way. Yeah, I would never wish anything like that in my hometown or, or anywhere, to be honest. Um, but now knowing that we made some really good friends at Harker Island, um, and they, they, they straight told us, if this happens to you guys, we're coming. In Hokessen, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.